Stay tuned to find out how you can win a mystery box curated by your girl. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, I got so many new skincare products to try out. I'm super excited. If y'all didn't know, your girl got her P. Louise box and it came with a bunch of skincare. So you know we gotta test them out. It did come with two makeup removers. I'm not gonna use both tonight. I'm gonna use one tonight and then the next time I do a skincare routine, I'll try the other. I know I said I wasn't gonna do them too close together. I was gonna wait a little bit longer, but after I saw all that skincare in my P. Louise box, I was like, I got to film it, okay? I mean, I'm gonna take my makeup off anyways. Might as well film it. The first thing that we're getting into is my P. Louise, and it's so freaking a ute. And this is the Water Malone Jelly Makeup Remover. And this is what she looks like. This is the cutest packaging literally ever in existence. This is probably one of my favorite subscription boxes that I get, just because of how cute it is. This is what the jelly is looking like. It's not really giving jelly. It's giving more yogurt. It smells really good. It smells like candy watermelon, like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's what it smells like. It's just, it smells so good. Hopefully this does not burn my eyes like that dang blasted coconut whipped, whipped coconut, that stuff. I think she's cooked, <laughs> okay? I think I'm done with the coconut whipped by striped, or no, not striped, stripped makeup. I'm done with her. I'm gonna move on to other things, okay? Bigger and better things. Things that's not gonna make my eyes burn with the fire of Hades, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try and then y'all already know, bird boxing my way to my julep wipes. Hopefully this gets to make up off without burning my eyes. Ooh, it has like a thick consistency. That's really nice. It's so fun. I think that this is so much fun. Look at how pink that is. Let's see. I wonder if this is enough. Let me go back in for a little bit more. Make sure I use enough because I do not want mascara still on my face. No! I dropped it. Hopefully this stuff works, okay? Cause I like her products. Usually they work really well and they're cute. So we'll, we'll see what's really popping with this, this makeup remover. It feels good on the skin. Can't tell if they're taking, if it's taking the makeup off. I won't be able to tell until, you know, I wipe my face and see what's left. The real tell is once you get to the eyes. Please don't burn me. That's all, just don't burn me. So far, so good. Now for lips. <sighs> now for the wipes. Where where are the wipes? No burning sensation. I really know once I open my eyes. As far as getting the makeup off, there's still a lot of eyeliner. I look like a freaking raccoon right now. My eyes are- Ooh, what's this on my lip? Ew, that's gross. It's like a piece of skin. I'm definitely gonna have to exfoliate my lips because that was nasty. It didn't burn my eyes, which is good. However, it did leave a lot of makeup on my face. Now, maybe I just didn't use enough products. I'm gonna troubleshoot it and go back through and try it again with more products and maybe see if it still has the issue of not taking off all the makeup. I'm just happy my eyes aren't burning. That's how I know for a fact it's that coconut. There's something in there that my body is just not agreeing with. I did get this balm. It's by P. Louise, obviously. Look at the cute packaging. This one's actually in mango, which it smells absolutely divine. Next time I do a skincare routine, I will be trying this. Usually the balms are pretty good. The, the makeup melting balms are usually really, really good. We're actually gonna go in with another P. Louise item. Why do I keep saying actually? I noticed that when I was editing, I was like, dang, every other sentence, I'm like, actually. Actually, actually. As if other ideas were proposed. I don't get it, I don't get it. I don't know why I keep saying actually. There's, there's no reason for the word actually in pretty much 90% of the sentences I say. The next thing that I'm going to go into, sans actually, is the In Love With Me Water Malone Cleanser. Just a cleanser. And what's so cool about this is that, first of all, you get a cute little cover, cute little cover so that your, your thing doesn't get dirty. But also, it comes with a little thingy like 
this. So I can just kind of massage my face while I wash it. I think that is so much fun and it's cute because it's a heart. It's a little heart. It's so pretty. I love this. So we're gonna bust this bad boy out. I'm gonna first wet my skin a little bit and then we're gonna get into it. Moment of truth, let's see. It comes out like a heart. That is so cute. Okay, this is fun. Okay, I like this. This is absolutely adorable. But then also, it's practical. They're not hard, right? Like the bristle things are actually really comfortable. I'm gonna try to like rub this over my eyes and see if it jacks me up or not. It doesn't really smell like watermelon, I'm gonna be honest. It just smells like a cleanser, but I think that's enough. Definitely still have makeup on my face. Still have a lot of makeup on my face, actually. Like, look at all that. My towel was clean when I first grabbed her, but now she's just, ugh. Yeah, there's still a lot of makeup on my face. That's actually horrendous. Ugh, I don't know about this P. Louise Skin Care product. I mean, the cleanser's cool. I don't wanna go to sleep with makeup on my face. I really don't. I know I said I wasn't gonna use it, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it and see if it gets the rest of this makeup off of my face. This is the Make It Melt Mango Makeup Melter by P. Louise. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Hopefully it kind of takes off what's been left over. You see that? Man, it smells absolutely delicious. I only need that much. This is a big size, like for a makeup melter. This is a lot. I'm gonna just use this over my eyes and see if it kind of helps. It smells so good. Need some like mango sherbet or something. I think that should be good. And if it isn't, then these products just don't work. Final verdict, let me find a clean spot on my towel. Yep, still wiping off makeup. That's so sad. I don't know, I'm gonna give it another try at another time. It's definitely not eaten after my e.l.f., okay? My e.l.f. is that girl, because this don't be happening when I use e.l.f. <laughs> Hopefully we got most of the makeup off. I can't keep going in with all these like different cleansers and stuff because then my skin will just be so trashed. The next thing that I'm gonna use is actually another product that we've seen on the channel. And this is the Gold Fat and MD Doctor Scrub. I actually really like this stuff and I've been using it on Justin and I think he likes it too. So I'm gonna exfoliate with this and then I'm also gonna exfoliate my lips because y'all saw that big old slice of a crusty dusty. We need to, we need to get the lips in check. I gotta re-up soon. I actually really like this. So this will be a product that I actually go out and buy the full, well, this is a full size. I guess rebuy the full size. Hopefully Ipsy got this on sale because I definitely want to re-up. It's just like, it smells good. Always makes my skin feel so soft. That's enough. I mean, that brush thing on the soap was an exfoliant as well, even though it was soft. So I'm not gonna go in with this for too long. I'm gonna go ahead and sick, sick. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my head in the sink, rinse this off, and I'll be right back. Did I just like stab myself? Bruh. Our little like sink thing is square shaped, and so the edge is really sharp, and I just stabbed myself in the freaking face. I freaking injured myself. No, there's blood. I felt it go into my skin too. Oh my God. Hopefully that doesn't leave like a permanent dent in my face. I was supposed to do a mask after this. I mean, it should be fine. It should, it should be fine. Not like gushing blood. So I think, I think I'm okay. I'm gonna actually go ahead and do a lip scrub. I'm gonna use my Sugar Rush by K uh, K I'm gonna use the Ancient Cosmetics Sugar Rush. So she's just a little scrubby scrub like that. We're nice and exfoliated. Just as a precautionary, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Plum Candy Melts Lip Balm on. Just so, you know, the crusty dusties don't think that there's a vacancy and they can just come and be all over my lips. Am I still bleeding? I don't see any blood, so I think we're fine. Cause if it, if it was bloody, then 
I would have to kind of cut the rest of this stream. Well, not stream, this isn't a stream. Cut the rest of the video. To celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm hosting a special giveaway exclusively for the Faybays. Fill out the entry form located in the description below and leave a comment on any of my videos between now and April 4th for your chance to win a mystery box curated by your girl. Two winners will be chosen at random. Remember, only one submission per subscriber. Now back to the video. Moving on, I'm actually gonna go in with my oil minimizing toner with salicylic acid by First Aid Beauty. I am gonna kinda avoid the area where I stabbed myself. We're nice and toned. The mask that I'm gonna use today is actually the one we got in our Allure box. And this is the Sweet Chef Celery Hyaluronic Acid Fresh Pressed Sheet Mask. And this is what she looks like. I think this packaging is so much fun. Like they have a bunch of different stuff like this. You can see like whatever ingredient, like the main ingredient that they have in there that makes it special. The outside kind of matches that. So this one has little celeries. I think it's so cute. It looks like this mask is juicy, okay? Juicier than the last one. So we'll probably have some essence to rub over our mask later on. Yeah, she juicy. She's like dripping juice. Okay, I gotta get this on before all my juices drip out. Oh, that sounded so nasty. This one feels so good. Take me to a spa. I need a full day at the spa where someone else does the pampering for me. This one is supposed to sit for about 15, 20 minutes. So y'all know how I like to do. Halfway through, I'm gonna come back, put the essence back over the mask and then sit for the remainder amount of time. Remainder amount of time. Remaining amount of time. Oh wow, my background all jacked up. Y'all need to see what's behind this. Wow. 10 minutes, we're gonna rehydrate the mask and then sit for another 10. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the juices out of this little mask thing and then rehydrate the mask. That was a bad idea. I did not think that through. Okay, let's try this again. Might as well. And I will be back in another 10 minutes. And I'm back, it's been about 10 minutes and I'm ready to get this off my face. I mean, it feels really good. I genuinely enjoyed that face mask, but I'm just, I'm ready to go to sleep. Your girl's tired, okay? I'm tired, I wanna cuddle with my baby and go to sleep. The next product that we're gonna, did I say product right? For some reason it sounded weird when I said it. The next product that we're gonna use is by Sul Wusu, okay? No one's correcting me yet on how to say that, but this is the First Care Activating Serum 6 by Sul Wazu. I believe this is in the lore. Yeah, it was in the lore. So we're gonna do like the Instagram people. Ooh, fancy. This stuff smells like expensive, high quality spa grade skincare. It smells so relaxing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna get the best sleep of my life having put this stuff on because it literally is like so relaxing. That was nice. Love a good serum. The next product that I'm gonna go in with is the Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream by First Aid Beauty. And this is this itty bitty tiny teeny tiny little thing. You know with eye stuff you don't really need a lot so I don't mind that it's such an itty bitty squeezy tube. They they actually fill theirs, right? So when you see the itty bitty squeezy tube, there's actually a lot of products in there because they don't just like halfway fill it and then it's also teeny tiny. They fill it up really nicely. The next product is another tried and true and this is my Feel Squalene Facial Oil. Love this stuff, it smells amazing. I've been working through her. This was one of the first items that I got from Ipsy like on my actual subscription. Well, my boxy charm. I've been working through her and and I'm tempted to buy some more since they got it on sale, just so I can have some in the pocket for later. But I also have that Alicia Keys Soul Care Keys, whatever. I have some of that that I haven't used yet. So I'm opting to not buying more of the feel until I go through that Alicia Keys one. If I don't get another facial oil to try, I will re-up on my feel. She's she's in there, she's about right there. So it's a lot. You get a lot with facial oils and you don't need a lot. And the final new item is by P. Louise. And this is the Skin Pineapple Moisturizer. 
this is what she looks like. Super freaking cute. Man, this stuff is like vanity worthy. That's what that looks like. It has a very strong pineapple smell. So if pineapple is not your stilo, uh, don't get this. I'm gonna put too much. Might have, I definitely put too much. I don't need this much. It's so creamy. It's like a yogurt. That's what it looks like. It looks like a yogurt. It feels really good. And I guess the more I have the pineapple scent on, the less nasty it smells. Like it doesn't smell nasty, but you know, it's just not one of those scents that I usually go for. But rubbing it into my face, it's actually pretty nice. It's kind of taking me to the beach. You know what I mean? To the beach with like a drink with an umbrella in it. That's where it's transporting me. All right, we're very moisturized. And the final things are tried and true. Okay, we, we know the drill. We know the drill. And this is the Egyptian magic. I love putting this stuff on my lips. It really helps with the crusty dusties. And last but certainly not least, y'all already know another tried and true. My Cop Cosmetics. They actually have some of this available on on the Ipsy store. So next time I make a purchase, I'm getting some more of this lip oil. I think the ones that they have on the Ipsy shop are like tinted. I'm gonna get it and try it because I really like their lip oils. It's only $4. The original price is 20. And this one is sold out on their website, unless they re-upped. I don't know if they re-upped. I haven't checked in a while. That is the end of my little skincare routine. Glass skin. No burning eyes. That is a win. <laughs> Nothing burned. Everything went on pretty well. Not so sure about the Pee Wee's skin brand. I think the packaging is absolutely stunning. The formula needs a little bit of work, okay? Cause I probably still have some makeup on. I'm, I'm pretty sure I still have some mascara on my face. I'm gonna have to really cleanse, cleanse, cleanse so that the makeup's gone, gone. Next time I do another skincare routine, I will try the balm by itself and like use more of it and see if that helps. Mm, we'll see. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.